Okay, so this is the finished version of Shepherd from Mass Effect. This is a commission uh, for a um, gamer who is a big fan of the Mass Effect games. So full disclosure with this figure, I have no idea about Mass Effect. I'm not really a gamer, um, so I had to sort of learn on the job with this one. In the game, um, you can choose uh, to be... T so Shepard uh, can either be male or female, and then you can alter the face and um, create your own avatar. And with this figure, what the customer wanted was um, different heads. So this is the standard Shepard head there um so that's my if you if i bring it to the front so this was a gi joe head that i re-sculpted gave him the sort of buzz cut and there you go there's also a helmeted head in the game And then there's um, the guy that commissioned me. This is based on the avatar that he created for his own character in the game. So three optional heads that they all look pretty cool. Let me pop one on there just to show you what the figure's sort of like. Pull him to the front. So I did this. This is the Omni Blade from the game, and um, it's padded out, if you can see in there, with a little bit of sponge um, because I don't want there to be any paint rub, which there isn't. Um, I use several coats of uh, varnish, I've got a matte varnish. Uh, that I will, so I'll complete the figure, complete the paint job, and use a matte varnish, and then a um, satin varnish on top, and that makes it sort of extra strong. I've never had fingers crossed. I've never had any complaints from a commission having uh, scratches on on the figure. Uh, so let's uh, hope that doesn't happen so this is the omni blade so as you can see i've taken the hand off oh, let me just show you before i put the blade on so i've included two hands there's a fist hand for when he's using the omni blade and there's an sort of an open trigger holding hand um, it can be sort of the accompanying hand to to this one which is just a, a regular sort of trigger hand and it can work with other one twelfth scale guns if if needed so they just they easily just clip in um we'll, we'll put this one in let me just pop that on there so that goes on there and it with the sponge in there as well it's it's snug so that's the omni blade you pop that on there Just a little bit of, i tell you what, let me bring him out of shot for a minute because it's never easy doing this on camera. But I, I'll assure you it does go in relatively simply. It's very cold today, it's snowing outside, so it always makes plastic a little bit harder to deal with, but they, you know, simple it's in. Um... And there you go. There's your there's your shepherd figure, with the so this is the um, the avatar head, and you can put the helmeted head on, um, looking really sort of badass with that on there. Uh, I love the contrast between like the orange of the blade, because the figure's fairly 
aside from this sort of splash of colour here, the designs, I mean, it's greys and silvers. I'm dropping everything. The head does go on this snug. I just, I haven't pushed it all the way on for the sake of showing you all the heads. And then with the original shore head on. So that's what you sort of would look like on the poster of the game. And then, you know, you're optional. You've got your fist hand if you wanted him to so and then i've included a stand as well with this sort of armature so you could have him sort of doing like a you know like he's fully poseable it's it's on one of the new gi joe style bodies so you could have him sort of doing a like a jump attack and then put the armature up up here and like there so he looks like he's sort of jumping and attacking and it's and it's cre sort of creeping up on someone there you go you got lots of what the customer wanted with this i think was options and so i've done my best to give him as many options as he can and there you go there's shepherd from mass effect now the i've done my best let me you'll notice the heads it pops on and off fairly easily it will stay on i always pop a little bit of blue tack in there because the problem when you customize and use different parts from different lines you can never get the peg holes to line up so i dremel them out so they're all a similar size but there you go. So I've I've dremeled all the uh, the heads out so they're a similar size. But all I'd say is you get just a little bit of blue tack, which I will include when I send this off. Pop it on there, and you know that's not that's not going anywhere. And same little bit of blue tack in the helmeted head there there again you know that's not going anywhere and you can put it on your shelf you can play with it it's not coming off it's got the, the range of motion it goes up down so <sighs> that looks so cool i think the helmet the helmet is definitely my favourite head, I think, with this figure. Uh, so again, a little bit of blue tack on the Avatar head version. And there again, you're ready. You're ready to play. So, yeah. Very, uh, very pleased with this, if I do say so myself. And I really hope the customer likes it i'm excited to get the feedback and there we go okay i'll see you in the next one cheers guys